Night of the charge scene of a deadly fire in Dorchester. Firefighters pulling a woman from that burning home, but they couldn't save her. News Center 5's Jorge Quiroga is live in Dorchester right now. And Jorge, the victim beloved in that neighborhood. She is a fixture in this neighborhood. And Ed, tonight we're learning what triggered the fatal two alarm fire here across the street an electrical short circuit in the first floor apartment where she lived. Crews tonight boarding up the burnt out house on Tonawana Street. Neighbors mourning a close friend. I call her sis because I've been known her so long. Like family. Others called her auntie or just Miss Mary. She was always a good person, neighbor friendly. Every time you see her, she had a smile. Lemon Miller last saw her this afternoon when she asked him to bring back some vanilla ice cream. She came out on the porch and she talked with the wife 10 or 15 minutes. The next thing, her house was on fire. The blaze starting in the first floor apartment she rented. Firefighters valiantly tried to save her. Companies were inside and um, located a victim on the first floor. Uh, removed the victim and began CPR. The victim was transported to uh, area hospital and succumbed to her injury. Boston Fire blaming an electrical short circuit in her apartment. Five other residents on the two and a half story wood frame home left out on the street. Residents say Ms. Mary was a neighborhood institution. First found out more about it was always from the cops at the voting precinct who were talking about how she kept them out of trouble growing up. She was 75, already missed. Stuff really tough. Yes, it really it, it happened so sudden. Cause we're just talking within 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and all of a sudden she was gone. A sad night on this street. Officials are now waiting for a positive ID before releasing the victim's full name. Following protocol, police, fire, and the DA are now investigating. Live in Dorchester, Jorge Quiroga, WCVB News Center 5.